Jen and I love Halloween. We go all out when decorating our house and yard. The neighborhood kids love to see what we put up every year, and even their parents are impressed by the scale and sophistication of the decorations we use. We don't just give up candy, we invite the trick-or-treaters into our home to see our setup. Pumpkins, spiders, skeletons, ghosts, you name it, we've got it. Our local newspaper even did a feature on us last year. A safe and spooky spot for local kids. It wasn't much more than a fluff piece, but it felt good to have our work celebrated. A project Jen's been working on over the last 15 or so years is her Halloween Town of Horrors. It's the centerpiece of our trick-or-treat trip around the house. The town takes up our whole dining room table, and it's a darker take on those big Christmas villages people like to put out in December. The architecture is very Tim Burton-esque, lots of strange-looking buildings, exaggerated colors and blood splatters, while the townsfolk lurk in the shadows like little purple zombies and space aliens. As the years have gone by, Jen's taken her Halloween town from a couple small buildings to the sprawling, populous nightmare scape it is today. This year, Halloween came and went. We had a blast. Jen's Halloween town was a huge hit. Even adults from around the neighborhood came over to take a look. Jen loved the attention. She wanted to be an artist growing up, but sadly, it wouldn't pay the bills. As we cleaned the house, Jen picked up one of the town's folk dolls. Its clothing had a little tear that needed to be fixed. Sighing good-naturedly, she gathered the rest of them into the box. I love those dolls. Their aesthetic works beautifully with the town Jen puts them in. They range in size from a raisin to a lemon. Some have distinguishable features, others don't. It takes a while for her to make each one, between two and five months, but her effort always yields a product that's perfect for Halloween. Until she can carry one to term, we both agree they shouldn't go to waste.